So we're in Chinatown in London and I was just walking through, just heading to St Martin's in the field um, and as I was walking past down what's that, I come across this little side street and like I say this is in the middle of Chinatown uh, and it just reminded me of the one in uh, Manchester uh, where I did the video of where I used to stay sometimes I uh, never actually slept in that street exactly but a lot of homeless people would sleep in that street um, and like I say it just reminded me very much of it it's similar it's not exactly the same but very very similar a lot of similarities uh, to it um, you know with the with the big extractor fan things and the very similar sort of noise funny enough and sort of big commercial waste bins and all the rest of it sort of thing and um, like I say you know it does remind me very much of it uh, so I just thought I'd come down uh, do a quick vlog on it um, and also wonder uh, you know I mean I don't know about because when I was homeless on the streets in London for that 18 months like I say I based myself around um, uh, St Thomas's uh, which is uh, Westminster near the uh, near um, Westminster uh, the uh, what's names uh, and like I say you know the thing is that uh, you know I, I didn't really come down this part of the world when I was homeless I might have walked through it a few times or something like that but you know I, I didn't uh, actually kick down or sleep down there uh, so but anyway as you can see this is this is uh, London's Chinatown which is a lot bigger than the one in Manchester anyway uh, but um, you know, like I said, I just, I just thought, I wondered whether there was any signs that, and if there was any place that people can kick down in that little side alley, and if they ever did. Uh, and I, you know, from what I could see of it, it didn't look like uh, people did or do sleep down there necessarily. Um, so, unlike the one then in Manchester, like I said, the one in Manchester, and it's on one of my, it's one of one of my er earlier videos. Well say earlier videos about a year ago uh, I did those videos uh, when I was back home for a little while um, and like I say uh, you know people did sleep in those in that uh, little alleyway that I was talking about anyway if you watch the video you'll see what I'm talking about uh, people actually did sleep in that in that alleyway um, but obviously in this one the one I've just videoed now um, as far as I can tell there's nobody nobody sleeps down there uh, just interesting you know what I mean just a different contrast uh, but it didn't, it didn't look as though you could really kick down there anyway really from the way it looked didn't think it was anywhere that you would consider to be uh, a reasonable spot as it were um, anyway we're coming out of sort of Chinatown we're heading out of it uh, and we're heading towards Leicester Square kind of thing uh, which eventually I'm going to head towards uh, oh, sorry uh, losing my train of thought for a minute um, yeah so we're going to head to St Martin's I think sort of heading that general direction uh, so okay I'm going to I'm not sure if I'm going to keep videoing until we get down there um, possibly I will leave leave it here at some point Although I don't know, we're coming into Leicester Square, so it might be just interesting just to walk through and a little bit of commentary through Leicester Square, perhaps. Um, I think I might do that. It's, it's crowded, but not like mega crowded. But uh, yeah, I guess we could do. Why not? Let's, let's get across this road and let's go and see what we can see. Uh, as you can see, it's quite crowded at the moment, so. Like, it's not, like I say, it's, it can be a lot more crowded than this, especially on the weekend, I think. Uh, I don't come down to this part uh, that often, necessarily. Uh, so, anyway. Right, so, let's see. Uh, it's quite noisy at the moment. A lot of building work going on, as you can see over there. So, uh, Right, so this is Leicester Square. This is where they have the film premieres and stuff. You know what I mean? The red carpet and all that stuff. 
uh, when there's some sort of premiere going on. Oh, there's an artist up here. Uh, I want to have a little nosy see what he's doing. Uh, of course, being a fellow artist myself, uh, seeing other artists does interest me. Uh, so let's have a little nosy see what he's doing. Yeah. You don't often see them. Uh, it's usually sort of portrait guys and stuff. This guy's actually doing some kind of painting. Um, if I can just get past, and let's just get round here and see what this guy's doing. So, yeah. okay, not sure, but uh, yeah, fair enough. You've seen that. Okay. Cool. Fair play to him. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I won't disturb him whilst he's painting. And, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I love I love the fact that he's just there doing his thing, man. Fair play to him. You know. Uh, uh, sorry, I've kind of dried up now. I don't know what to. Uh, uh, anyway. Uh, as Adam Wu would say, a moment of quietness, a moment of, um, oh great, I can't even think of his euphemisms now, uh, anyway, whatever, so I might as well just keep walking for now, uh, and like I say, this is Leicester Square, uh, I know I've already mentioned that, uh, and we're coming past the Odeon Cinema, um, and the wind is blowing yet again, so I wonder how that's sounding on the on the video. Uh, it can always sound quite blowy. Um, and like I say, I've got a noise reduction thing on this. I've got the sort of thing that's supposed to quieten that sort of thing down. It's amazing though, it just only takes a little breeze. I mean, it depends, I suppose if you've got a really decent camera. I mean, you know, this is okay, but it's certainly not top of the range or anything. And of course I couldn't afford that. Uh, I'd love to have a really decent camera, a couple of grand's worth or something. I'd really, I'd love that. Uh, sadly, I don't think that's going to happen uh, unless I manage to get some more money in the bank and save up, and maybe then I could do that, perhaps. But uh, as it stands, I have to work with what I've got, uh, which isn't bad. You know, it's a fairly decent-ish one, but you know, it's not. Like I say, there's a couple I saw once when I was shopping around to get this. Um, I went in different places, uh, and uh, there's a place uh, in London, Tottenham Court Road, right at the top of it, uh, actually. Um, and there's loads of sort of electronic shops and what's the names where they sell all these sort of things. Uh, and there's loads of them. I mean, there's literally loads of them, all next door to each other, all different what's the names. And I went into one place. It's called Ask or something. Anyway thing is I went in there and uh, saw these amazing cameras with like they're almost like semi-professional ones almost as if they were almost like um, something that like I don't know news people would use or something or fit well maybe I don't know, filmmakers whatever but they had like external microphone thing on it and all this sort of thing. it looked fantastic it looked the business you know what I mean it looked brilliant uh, and it was about what did he say it was I think it was somewhat like... Uh, sorry. It's all right, it's all right, no problem, mate. Uh, I think it was something like... I think it was something like... Uh, I don't know if it was two grand or... Uh, was it two grand? Something like that. Uh, well, it might have been more than that, actually. I can't actually remember. It even been six grand. I know it was a heck of a lot of money. Well out of my price range, you know what I mean? Uh, and I kind of like, I was really... Oh, I really wanted it. It looked, it looked the business. You know what I mean? I just really wish I'd had that camera. Um, but like I say, obviously I can't afford it. So, you know, you can look, but you can't, you can't purchase. Oh well, never mind. Maybe one day. Maybe one day, I'll happen to get some money, and you know, I'll be able to, you know, afford a nice camera like that. That'd be so good. Uh, anyway, so let's continue down the road for now. Uh, and we'll see what we see. Uh, I think we'll head towards. Uh, I think we'll head towards. Um, well, I'm not sure where we're going to head towards actually. Uh, yeah, mate. Not much, but 
Alright, good luck mate. Take care. Uh, so, yeah. So, anyway, like I say, uh, we'll head sort of... Ooh, look, there's a moon up there. I see the moon in the sky. Uh, sorry, I just love stuff like that. Right, so we're passing the National Portrait Gallery. I've been in there a million times. Don't think you're allowed to film in there, by the way. Uh, some, some places can be really funny. Let me just... Let me just... Uh, I don't know if you can see that from here. I'm going to zoom in, actually. Uh, wait a minute. There it is, there it is. Look at that, there's the moon. How cool is that? Well, thanks, man. Just ruined my shot. Never mind. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. It's hard to keep it stable once you start zooming in on this thing. Wow. I'm trying to get as close as I can without it going too wobbly. But wow, that's so cool. I love the moon. I do. Sorry, I love all that. Love space and wow. And the fact that we went there and how cool is all that. So anyway, yeah. Just like the fact that you can see it in the day in the daytime. Um, so right. Let's uh, let's cross over. So this is now where we are now is called St Martin's in the Field. Uh, there's a church that's all actually called St Martin's in the Field, uh, and you know they also do a lot of charity work with the homeless and stuff like that. Uh, and there's actually a homeless day centre around here uh, where I used to do the anger group. I used to run the anger group with John John Collin, the guy I met just earlier on. Uh, I didn't get him on camera. I was kind of thinking about it, but then I thought, well, you know, I don't know. Just wanted to talk about the stuff we needed to talk about without the intrusion of the camera. Um, but yeah, the uh, the homeless day centre thing is just over there. So, and then of course you've got Trafalgar Square, which is just over there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, amazing light coming from the sun over there. Uh, I'm just trying to work out which direction I want to go. Uh, it's getting crowded over there and all. That's the other thing, see, I'm not a big fan of like really crowded places necessarily. Uh, but, uh, anywho, uh, oh, and yeah, you also get a lot of these uh, street performers uh, around here. They're also in Covent Garden, that's the traditional place for them. Uh, and they do a lot of different things, uh, more interactive stuff they, here. They just kind of, it's them people that stand on them things like as though they're levitating. It's all that sort of thing. It's the latest thing at the moment. It's the latest craze. Uh, people dressed as Yoda and stuff as if they're floating in air. Um, so, anyway, let's go this way. Let's get across over here. This is turning into a one long vlog. These vlogs these days, for me, are getting really long, man. Um, I think what I'm going to do is... Because like I say, these, these vlogs are getting maybe a bit too long. So I'm going to stop for now. Uh, I'll maybe do another piece later and then put it together or something. I don't know, right. My editing skills are not brilliant. So anyway, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to stop for now.